run away from gospels that focus only on success and prosperity, for they are a deluded version of the true gospel. The message of Jesus Christ is not about achieving earthly success or wealth, but about surrender, sacrifice, and eternal life. Don't be deceived by the prosperity gospel. Seek the authentic gospel that preaches Christ crucified, repentance, and spiritual transformation. Luke 9, verse 23 to 24. Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. Run, flee from those who exploit the name of Christ for personal profit, using the gospel as a means to enrich themselves. They are wolves in sheep's clothing, devouring your resources while starving your soul. Don't let them merchandise the grace of God for their own gain. Seek authentic spiritual leaders who serve with integrity and love. 2 Peter 2 verse 3 And in their greed they will exploit you with false words. Their condemnation from long ago is not idle, and their destruction is not asleep. Run from those that are picking your pocket in the name of Jesus. Run from those who exploit the name of Jesus for personal financial gain, using deceitful tactics to line their pockets with your hard-earned resources. They prey on your faith and generosity, disguising their greed as a service to the Lord. Remember, Jesus' message was one of love, humility, and selflessness, not profit and exploitation. Flee from those who distort his name for personal gain. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 17 For we are not, like so many peddlers of God's word, but as men of sincerity, as commissioned by God in the sight of God, we speak in Christ. Run. Run from Gospels that only focus on self-improvement. Three steps to a better personality. Three steps to this and forth. Run. Run. Run from Gospels that reduce the depth of God's message to shallow self-help formulas. The true Gospel transforms hearts and minds, offering eternal life and spiritual growth, not just temporary self-improvement. Don't settle for a watered-down version of the good news. Seek the unadulterated truth of God's Word, which offers a rich and abiding relationship with Jesus Christ, not just three steps to a better life. Run from churches where men and not Christ are glorified. Run from churches where the praise and adoration of men supersede the glory of Christ, where the names of pastors, leaders, and celebrities are elevated above the name of Jesus. The focus has shifted from worship to idolatry. Seek a community where Christ alone is exalted and his glory is the sole objective. John 12, verse 43 to 44. For they love the glory that comes from man more than the glory that comes from God. Run, body of Christ, run, get out. Don't touch the unclean thing. Flee from the corruption that masquerades as truth. Escape the snares of false teachings and manipulative leadership. Don't compromise your faith by tolerating or enabling the spread of deceit. Run, body of Christ, run. Separate yourself from the unholy alliances and unholy doctrines that seek to dilute the purity of the gospel. Touch not the unclean thing, lest you be tainted by its defilement. 2 Corinthians 6 verses 17 and 18. Therefore go out from their midst and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing. Then I will welcome you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Run from churches in America and Canada where there is no Bible, there's no cross in the theology, there's no soul-searching word, there's no repentance from sin, there's no mention of the blood of Jesus. Run, it's unclean, run. Flee from the spiritually barren churches that have abandoned the fundamentals of the faith. Escape the institutions that have replaced the word of God with shallow rhetoric. Ignored the sacrificial love of the cross and silenced the call to repentance and forgiveness. Run from the pseudo-sanctuaries that neglect the transformative power of the gospel and the atoning blood of Jesus. Run, for the absence of these essentials is a sign of spiritual decay and uncleanness. Revelation 3, verse 14 to 16. And to the angel of the church in Laodicea write, The words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of God's creation. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him, and he with me. Run from churches where the worship leaves you cold. There is no sense of God because they don't know God. Flee from churches where worship is a mere ritual, lacking the fire of the Holy Spirit. Escape the places where the name of God is mentioned, but his presence is absent, where the atmosphere is dry and void of the divine. 
run from the churches where the worship service is a mere formality, lacking the vibrancy and joy that comes from a genuine encounter with the living God. Run, for a church that fails to connect you with the divine is a mere shadow of what God intended the church to be. Flee from the lukewarm embrace of a godless faith and seek a community that ignites a burning passion for the living God. If you enter God's house with unconfessed sin and feel no conviction or remorse, you're not in a holy sanctuary, but a gathering of spiritual counterfeits, a table of devils, where the absence of conviction reveals a lack of true faith and the presence of darkness masquerading as light. Run from pulpits that are filled with political men who are using the pulpit of God for a personal political agenda. Run! Run from false teachings that sow discord among races and cultures, contradicting the unity of the body of Christ. Run! Get out! Turn it off! Get away from it! Turn away from the prosperity gospel that prioritizes wealth over wisdom and success over spiritual growth. Run to the true gospel, where love, humility and righteousness reign supreme.